Hello and welcome to the 20 Day Challenge. My name's Max Lindsay. My name's <laughs> Bailey. And to start off... Bailey. Ba that big plate. Sorry about this, guys. You still owe me 150 pounds. I think I'll do it just... Yep, that was day 10. But because we had so much footage left over, we decided to make this one last video. Also, now that the challenge is done, it's time to start pulling in your sponsorship money. And to make it as easy as possible, we set up an account which you can pay in using online banking or just at your local bank. So um, here's the account number. And here's a sort code. Uh, please pay what you said you would pay. Uh, no matter how small it is, it all adds up in the end. And if anybody else would like to make a contribution, that is greatly appreciated and it's all going to charity. Anyways, on day 9, my dad decided it was time to cut the grass, so off we went. Max started off, and failed. So Bailey took over. Oh god! 20 minutes of off-camera surgery later and my arm was back to normal. But I sure wasn't. So I decided to pay Bailey back in the only way I know how. Western style. Bailey Jim, I'm calling you out. We're gonna have ourselves a night. Show me your way. After killing Bailey, we decided to try and get back in topic by testing some of the symptoms I might be showing. Hmm, what symptoms are there that come with starvation? How should we find this out? So we consulted an official medical document. Disorientation, it says. So how should we test this? Well, like any good old guard fear an American word, with a gun. Of course, to do this, we have to dress up in historically accurate costumes. Now, I know they may appear to be the same costume as the women in the last clip, but they're not. And they aren't. He's the gun to an original badass who was once said to shoot the testicles of a fly in Africa while skiing backwards down the Swiss Alps wearing a blindfold simultaneously pleasuring three women and one rather confused porcupine, all with the handicap of a broken arm and whilst being heavily sedated. Of course, everyone knows this isn't true because at the age of six, after his fourth sexual experience, he was convicted of drug trafficking and sent to jail where he met a man who converted him to Scientology. And everyone knows Scientologists can't flush a porcupine! <laughs> Here we will show you a very accurate representation of what will happen to Bailey's face if he is shot. Here we have a picture of Bailey taken by myself just a couple of hours ago. And uh, since Bailey's face is actually also made of paper, I think this will prove to be very scientifically accurate. Bailey. Bailey promptly fleed the scene, but was later brought back and tied up.
Thought the camera, thought the camera wasn't loaded. <laughs> Almost killed Bailey. <laughs> here's Bailey, <laughs> and here's the shit. By the way, saved like thirty centimeters of air. <laughs> Let's try it again, I Bailey. <laughs> We do not endorse guns. <laughs> say that, I say that. I was just kidding. Do you want to test my action about a Do you do these things? We know that none of you actually care about this part of the video, but we need to put it in there. So here's the weight and the blood pressure. Oh, and during the weight, there is an unintentional coincidental zoom in, and it's not intended <laughs> at all. <laughs> Hello and welcome to day 9 of the challenge. I, as you can see, am completely naked under this hat and, uh, and I've got the scales below me so let's get this over with, shall we? Hat off. So as you can see I'm basically teetering in between 65 and 66. Shit, that was Ben, and thank you for watching. Hello and welcome to day 9. Here's GP Bailey taking the blood pressure. La la la, then set up. Here we go. 110. So my blood pressure actually got fantastically much better today. Hurrah! Alright guys, well uh, thanks very much to everyone who was, uh, has watched our videos, we've had quite a few views, thanks to all the sponsors, please make sure you do give us the money somehow, I'm going away next Tuesday to try and make it before then, and uh, we've had quite a bit of fun doing this. It's a good laugh. Yeah, I've I, I failed the challenge uh, for a lot of different factors, but it was basically just bad timing, and um, it, we, we might... We won't do it again. No, <laughs> no we won't do it again. We'll some more videos probably though. Yeah, we might make some more videos in the future or something, or, base it, or do another kind of challenge or something like that. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching guys, and see you after. Catch you after. Drink! Graham, Nicole, anything you Hey, <laughs> hey, Graham, look, I'm actually joking, I don't know how to do it. What? Just, just fry it, Max. It, it'll start to look like a fried egg after a time, and then it will be nice. Because that's not a good thing, maybe I'll stop. God, what is that? I've been dripping Pigs will fly, not a breakthrough. Pigs will not you. Pigs evil. Hey, yo, Domestic abuse strikes back. Maybe I should have like a good shot. Beat our Graham, beat our good. Teach the next lesson. What? You okay? Oh, I'm just trying to think of a pun, but I couldn't get it. That's why I was doing all that. <laughs> <laughs> Please, come to me. <laughs> All I could get.
Last time I seen something as dead as those cats, it was my brother after they got done for robbery. Shut up, Bailey Jean. Bailey Jean. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey Jean is my father.